Hi, Scorpions. First and foremost, I'd like to wish you a very happy new year. I'm here to talk to you today about what it looks like to be a successful Scorpion. We, as your staff here at San Jose, have really high expectations for you. And we wanna make sure that we're on the same page about what those expectations are. So what in the world is an expectation? Well, an expectation is a belief that someone will achieve something. I want you to think of it almost as a goal that you might set for yourself or that others who care about you set for you. Expectations can motivate and excite us. They can make us want to push ourselves to grow and be better. And Scorpions, we at San Jose really want nothing more than to see you grow and be the best versions of yourself, which is why we set these high expectations for you. I want you to really think about and recognize what you have in your control. Scorpions, in your control is your behavior, your effort, your words, your actions, and ultimately, whether or not you choose to live up to the expectations that not only you set for yourselves, but that we set for you because we want to see you be successful. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about engagement expectations that we have at San Jose. Engagement refers to your focus, your effort, your participation, your connection, reflection, discussion, how you conduct yourself with your peers, your teachers, and staff at San Jose Middle School. I want you to think about the acronym SLANT. An acronym is a word where every letter stands for another word or a phrase. SLANT stands up for sit up, lean forward, ask questions, nod, and track. If you hear your teachers say the acronym SLANT, you should grow about six inches. You need to re-engage with what's going on in class. When your teachers say slant, they are looking for you to refocus to make sure that you are being successful and you are following along in class. Now, Scorpions, another way that you can show us that you are engaged in class is by demonstrating three out of six engagement strategies. Three out of six. Something new we're doing this semester, Scorpions, is marking you present in class as long as you are demonstrating three of these six, okay? So I wanna make sure that that's clear. You are considered present in class if you demonstrate three of the following. Turn your camera on, unmute and contribute or respond appropriately, type in the chat to your teacher, make notable progress on classwork, so maybe that's in a Google Doc or on Edpuzzle or on a project like Google Slides. Participate effectively in breakout rooms, both in the breakout room and when you come back to class. You should be able to report back to your teacher what was discussed in the breakout room. And using reactions in Zoom, like a thumbs up or raising your hand as approved by your teacher. Students, we're seeing so many of you log into class and then disappear and we have no way of knowing if you're learning or if you're even there. So from now on, in order to be marked present and not absent, you need to demonstrate three out of the six engagement strategies that I just listed. In addition to demonstrating your engagement scorpions, we want to set some high academic expectations for you. We're gonna call them norms, something we all want to adhere to. Please make sure you're logging into Zoom on time you really should be logged in at least two to five minutes early every single class. Make sure you're completing all of your asynchronous work and your homework. Ask clarifying questions. You should never leave a Zoom class until you have asked questions that are gonna help you get your work done later. And make sure that you participate when your teacher calls on you to answer a question or contribute in class. Again, Scorpions, we have really high expectations for you because we want nothing more than to see you be successful. Check back in tomorrow. I've got more expectations to share with you. Have a great day.